So uh, a lot of people want to know this shit. HWOT since 2015, <laughs> 2016. A lot of people knew or heard or seen it, but what's the origins behind it? And what the fuck does that even stand for? Well, it stands for hard work over talent. Uh, basically, it started off a picture of fuck you made. <laughs> Nigga went to New Orleans. On accident. On accident. Like, I don't even know what the fuck we... Oh, it was like... Katrina. Katrina. Uh, some shit. Yeah, for like the 10-year anniversary, five-year, whatever the fuck it was. But, uh, yeah, you had took a picture. I was like, this cold. <laughs> and then uh, Dude, man, I was like... Okay. I was always in the art and shit, and I, I always, I made a, I just made like a little fucking uh, album cover. And you put a whole date on there. And I put a date on there, I, I, just a random ass date. And I had posted that bit on Snapchat, people thought I was for real. And niggas I was said, posting that shit, yeah, like, yeah, December 9th. Yeah, niggas, niggas thought I was for real, I ain't even had a song out. Right. And then, uh, shit, I think, what happened? Like a year after that. Uh, you end up finding out how to uh, make a uh, but even music. you but you skipped the part too even that? before that you was fucking around with them niggas in Baker y'all went to JB damn that was before that that oh, was before that yeah. shit shit yeah that was, I, that was oh that. yeah dude went to a real studio <laughs> in fucking Baker hell yeah nigga just made a song I said fuck it I really was about to record all them bitches and uh, do it then I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just try. I ain't doing shit else. You know, I think people gravitated to your shit because they feel like it was funny. It was comedy, but it was real at the same time and it was catchy. Hell yeah. Because that's all I could do. Because I, I can't really rap about no serious shit. I gotta make a joke out of it, I guess, for it to rhyme or whatever. Dude dropped a, a mixtape with no promo on audio mat <laughs> called, rap, was it Rap Game with Your Pride? That was the one on audio. Nah, that was on audio, Mac. That was the hard work over talent. That was the original bit. I don't know the songs for that bit. And then after that, uh, Lead Them Dykes Alone. That's how I remember. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lead Them Dykes Alone, man. <laughs> but the, uh, shit, the first one was uh, with your computer. Well, the second one was with your computer. Hey, when time up. I'm going to take my POV. Nigga was recording with JB. Boom. That summer hit. No, that was that next summer we did the other shit. Yeah, that, so we found out we could record on this laptop. We did like a few shits. Boom, dropped like videos and all that shit, built up a buzz. But that summer we went back home. And this nigga, you was recording at your house. Oh, shit, shit. That's when I had found, I had got me a laptop. Yeah, okay, and okay. And there's a summer. I was like, fuck. Because you was into me shit. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. This shit go hard. I was like, fuck. This shit got easy. I got, I heard, some, I found some beats like I always wanted to. I said, fuck it. Uh, like, what was that? I think the first one was, um, that fucking Charlie Wilson. That I heard, I was riding, I was riding to get some fucking gas, and I heard that bitch on the radio. And you know, you know how you sing to that bitch. Right. I'm remixing at the same time. I was like, mm, yeah, 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 my Damn. last name on type of shit. And you yeah, sent me like, that in Christmas tree. Hell yeah. And that shit inspired me. <laughs> so I wrote some shit in my notes, and come to find out, we was moving, we was gonna be roommates again. I think like the first week there, we probably dropped about three, four songs. <laughs> Yeah, hey, that shit was funny. That yeah, PJ, that shit's still classic. That's probably the best song <laughs> that, that I done made. Fucking PJ. <laughs> it got to the point. The shit was so crazy. Our house was damn near recording studio. Yeah, yeah. If you came to visit us, then you'd have been on the song before. <laughs> when you was a bitch, nigga. You anybody, you'd have been on the song before. And we didn't even promote this shit because we we ain't want you ain't want to be known as a rapper. Yeah, it's man. just some on some funny shit. So it was just the people that followed me on fucking Snap. Right. And they knew. And they just da da da. And on Twitter, shit, when we made that little dick video. Oh. But man. yeah, hey niggas got low key. Tell them what happened to Dunn Hall when this shit Nigga had went up on me. Hey nigga, you uh you that little dick nigga or some shit like that. <laughs> I mean we had first dropped that video. I don't think y'all noticed that shit. But when we went to the calf at maybe here, it felt like everybody watching the nigga. Right. That nigga Jay White had hit me up. Uh, Jay White saw this shit? Years later, he, he he brought that shit up. He was like, uh, he was around some hoes or some shit. <laughs> and they, they they was watching that bit, laughing at that bit. How the fuck they found that shit? And, and a lot of people was retweeting that shit on Twitter. And all that shit was on accident. Because yeah. the first, I didn't know I could do videos until we was chilling that night. And we did rapists and pedophiles. 
<laughs> that was the first ever video we did. Like we was a pedophile. And then we dropped a little dick like a few weeks later type shit. Yeah, yeah. Then we had that crib. 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 Well, I wish YouTube ain't delete that shit, <laughs> Yo shit, uh but yeah, from 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 that first cover that from the picture I took in twenty fifteen, two years later you dropped a whole I don't even want to call it a mixtape, nigga. That was an album. <laughs> that was a masterpiece. Yeah, that went platinum on Spin Rilla, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hustle and harmony. Oh yeah, my front God. page is spin real. Everybody was fucking with That shit had like a hundred something comments, thousands <laughs> of plays. Like, what the f- And yeah, for the yeah. people that actually took time to listen to it, they was fucking with it. Yeah, yeah. And that was like my marketing strategy. I knew, I knew what, I knew the, how to let my shit stand out. So I put this purple ass background, make a painting like a, what was that? Kanye West? Yeah. Kanye West, one of them uh, albums he did, I think they was fucking or something. I just did the same shit in my own way. Put, put more, your face on yeah, it? Yeah, put it more explicit in that bit. And I just slapped it in there like it was a frame. And then I put, uh, uh, inspired by Moby Dick, because uh, he had a tape called Gangsta's Harmony. Yeah. And I basically made it. It was like a mixture of, because a lot of them songs I remixed of his. And I didn't even know that until yeah. you told me that Like, the shit. whole intro. I was like, God damn. And, like, my whole approach of it, like, he re- in his shit, in his approach, he re- remixed a lot of songs, and he was, like, funny with it. So mm-hmm. I just took that same delivery with it. And then I mixed it up. Uh, another thing that inspired me was that Will, no, what's that nigga name? Wiz, Wiz Khalifa. Mm-hmm. I forgot what that tape was, Taylor something. It's like a white background. At the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the end of the, uh... At the end of the tape, mm-hmm. at the end of every song, it was an interview. Like, nigga was interviewing. That's What's why you called? and Tev did That's that why shit. I had Tev. Uh, I was like, that shit genius. I'm about to do that same shit, and I'm going to make some funny jokes at the end of that shit. Yeah, you had. And this, then I made sure the song was going to fuck with talking about. You had a Marcus Houston song on that nigga. Yeah, every time I hear that bitch, I'm like, damn, I just laugh. That's I didn't even know the song at first. I never even heard the song. It just went with whatever I had wrote. Cause yeah. I wanted my intro to be just like one of Moby Dick songs, and that beat just went, it it, uh, it just went perfect with that bitch. Then fast forward, you probably you dropped, wait, Crackhead Smile was on that bitch. Mm-hmm. Then we dropped the video. Yeah, yeah. Crackhead Smile was. Hey, shout out to yeah. Super man. Shout yeah, out to Old. That shit. People still fuck with that shit. Yo, I mean, I'm mad that you got that you got that shit on Friday. I want to <laughs> make that shit public so bad though. Cause it's like fuck it. You want that to be a part of your legacy? <laughs> like you want me to make that shit public somehow? <laughs> yeah, it's something happy for That bitch had like 700 views in like a few weeks and then put on the side <laughs> type shit. Hey, that bitch catch it. Everybody liked that and shit. And only a handful of niggas really promoted that shit. That shit was just yeah, blowing yeah. the fuck up. I, I think I might, I keep forgetting about doing that shit, but I might put this shit on TikTok. If I know somebody that's TikTok famous, I might just pay them and make some shit with it. Try to yeah, do that, do that shit. <laughs> God damn. Uh, what else? What else? Nick, we had merchandise, posters. Hell yeah. Motherfucking. Fast forward another year, we bored chilling. Nigga said, how the fuck? We even came up with the name Booty Rice. <laughs> Y'all know Silver Rice, right? We came up with Booty Rice, nigga. Like, I don't know how the fuck. Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. You came up with that shit, though. But, but the uh, process of making that shit was hilarious. Hell yeah. Like, we knocked yeah, the niggas down like that. Buku songs. <laughs> right. <laughs> We literally had to sit there and think of a track list, <laughs> break some shit down, and choose a couple of songs. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a big, that was a great follow up, and that shit, that shit, I think that shit right up there with us long this time. Especially with that, with that intro. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Dude, right after that, made an uh, EP. Oh my god! Fucking whole town. Whole town. That's my shit too. That shit slept on. It is slept on. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> after the booty rise, we didn't really promote that shit like like yeah, we're supposed nah. to anymore. Cause we was getting up there age. Yeah. We, like, we finna graduate and shit. We like, man, fuck. Yeah. Then like that hustle army two drop. That bitch was pressure. That cover worse than the, the hustle army <laughs> one cover. That cover got a little nigga in the corner watching two, two adults fuck. Yeah, yeah. Said, but damn. Shit after that drop, I was like, fuck. A lot of shit was going on. I was like, fuck this shit. Yeah, just life just has no fun. I, I couldn't, every time I tried to uh, rap again, shit, I just, that's how I knew it was over, because I was like, I just can't do it no more. I ain't. Yeah. It's shit getting harder and harder to make some but shit. But the scary part is, nigga got 
On this little old bitch got about 50 yeah, yeah. to 80 unreleased shit. Yeah, shits. nigga make some new shit. I even make some shit when I get bored. <laughs> Just like, fuck it. But yeah, horror go tell them though, it's more than music, it's more than entertainment. It's really an umbrella. Yeah, yeah. So like, everybody that claims it always involved brings something to the table in their own little way. And I think that's why I like it. Yeah, yeah. And then nigga made that bit to LLC. And right. back in a couple of years ago, 2019, 2020, one of them. But, uh, but now, shit, niggas fixing credit under that bitch, nigga, nigga dropping merchandise under that bitch, nigga, uh, trying to, like, uh, working on a movie on that bitch type of shit, trying to plot that, make that shit to life, trying to put that good. bitch on Tuvi. <laughs> Damn. Then, matter of fact, <laughs> nigga, Tuvi classic. That was my, uh, second <laughs> tattoo. Oh, yeah, nigga got that bitch tattooed. Before, like, don't worry about <laughs> this, but up here, the HWOT, that was my second tattoo right there. That shit really stamped for life, like, <laughs> that shit crazy. Cause that shit really happened at a, a weird time in my life. Like before I met y'all niggas, I was like, I went to Southern, but I was fucking with niggas, you know, I went to high school with my friend, but I didn't really venture out. Mm -hmm. I was kind of, you know, still timid. Yeah. Once I saw y'all, I'm like, damn, I can really be myself around you. <laughs> like, and then I, we met niggas like B, shout out to B over here. <laughs> you know, oh, you see this beat? Wine, that nigga B over there. Tev, all them boys, like, that shit really crazy to me. Like, y'all y'all inspired me to be myself. And I ain't never looked back, type shit. That's what, that's what we do at Hard Work Over Talent. We inspire niggas to be they self. Welcome to Death Row. <laughs> <laughs> and know what you used to say, it's, it's easy, but y'all trying too hard. Yeah, shit that shit like easy. That. Niggas be trying too hard. Like, nigga did that shit on effortless. Like, Effort, like, like on some woke up in the morning, brush yeah. my brush teeth and like, hey, what y'all trying to? Yeah, niggas, with? niggas spending money, boo boo money on trying to be a rapper and shit, and they ain't got no image. They don't know how to market themselves. They just, they right. just, they just, they just, they just in there with all the other people. Right. Got and wonder why they different. can't do shit or whatever. Nigga got R and B songs. Yeah, we got yeah. storytelling songs. Nigga, yo, real yeah, talk? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, this dude made a whole <laughs> fucking song about a real life situation hey, that happened. You seen that TikTok or like a Boosie song or some shit? And uh -huh. they was acting that bitch out? Nigga make a TikTok off that bitch. Find that them, send that bitch to them. That was like, <laughs> make a cartoon to it type shit. Oh, they can shit. Make I'm gonna not, shit. Damn. Like, nigga, I'm gonna find, out, I'm gonna find out how to do that. I'm mad I wasn't there. I was fucking cuffed up. I missed, I missed that shit. <laughs> I wasn't fucking 